Hey, Orange One here with more Into the Breach. So I was trying to think um, about what I wanted to do here with the next game. And I think Henry Kwan, from what I remember, is because he can move through enemy units, I think he's really good for Steel Judoka. I know that a lot of people think these guys can get into some situations that are kind of unwinnable. But I've had some really a lot of fun with them. I've gotten two island victory, a three island victory, but I haven't gotten a four island victory. So I might, I might want to try going for that, or I might just do a two island victory just so you guys can see what it looks like at the end of the game. Sorry about that, the laundry machine was still going. Um, so let's go ahead and start this. Alright, so Henry is starting off with plus one power. This is why you want to carry over time travelers from a previous... Uh, from a previous playthrough. So we could we could make it so that he's the allies are immune to moving. I think having more movement's gonna be more useful, to be honest. We wanna be able to maneuver around. Okay, so I would like to do that one, but it's got volatile vec. This is an easy one, but we kind of have to do it to open these other ones up. So I'm going to go for the easy one first. Okay, oh yeah, we've got this artillery one that's kind of... It's a little different. And... The gravity mech. The, the gravity mech's pretty cool. I'll show, I'll show you their abilities just in combat so you can see them. Oh, we've also got a time pod. Well, if we get that, then we are starting off really nicely. Hmm. Um, can this artillery mech... Yeah, that one could kill that one. That sounds like a good idea to me, to be honest. You can kill the back, it's almost always a good idea. So this does one damage and pushes everything around it, so... can use that to do some interesting stuff. Um, so let's see, I think probably what we want to do with Henry is just move that guy over into the water. I really like the the judo mech. It's a cool one. This is kind of tricky, this artillery, because we don't want to wreck the building, but because it's got the shield, I think it's fine. Yeah, let's kill it. There we go. And our gravity mech isn't really going to be able to do much this turn. Gonna move you there. Yeah. Okay, so what we could do Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get these guys to hit each other, which is kind of a bummer. You know what, I think we could flip you over, and we can use gravity to pull you, and then when the other Vex spawns, you'll get killed. And 
can't really do much with you, can we? Yeah, without getting the um, gravity mech hurt, I don't think we can do much. Wait, hold on, can I... Would that work? Yeah, actually that I think would work. But then gravity mech will get hurt on the next turn. That'd be worth it. Actually, you know what? We could kill this one. We could just straight up kill this one. Yeah, so I think if we... Do this, so push you out of the way. Okay, get some damage on you. And then we'll kill you. We'll have four back on the board, but one of them's pretty much dead. To be honest, with uh, this squad having a lot of back on the board is actually a good thing because you can do um, you can do some pretty awesome combos. Um, like for example, I think we could maybe pull one of you guys into the other one's line of fire. Actually, we could get artillery and hurt both of you. That might be a good idea. Do artillery and I'll move you over and you over and then you'll shoot that one. And that would kill it. And then we could do whatchamacallit, we could move you over with the gravity mech. I'm not really sure what I would do with you then. Maybe block a spawn point? Yeah, I think that's probably a good move. So we'll artillery you guys over. And then what were we going to use the grab mech for? I forgot what we were going to use the gravity mech for. Actually, maybe drop the artillery there and we could use the gravity pull, pull you over. And. Yeah, that might actually be a good idea. Pull you over, artillery on the two of you. And then steal Judoka. Could do some damage on whatever doesn't get killed. So I think we'll move you here. And you'll use gravity to move them over. Seal Jidoka, you're gonna... Um, maybe block that spawn point? Yeah, let's block that spawn point. And then artillery. I hit right there. Actually, does the emerging vec 
Are they gonna damage him? Does armor protect against that? Weapon damage is... Oh man, I think we would lose Henry then. So we're gonna have to reset that turn. <laughs> I haven't seen that message before, that's kind of interesting. Um... Okay, so we're gonna have to be careful now because we've used our reset. I think we're just gonna wanna flip them over. Artillery could hit them. Oh wait, we can't actually flip them over. If I flip them, would they get hurt? No, they wouldn't get hurt. So we really do wanna kill that psionic one first. What well, if we artillery on him into the grab mech? That would kill it. And then grab mech could pull someone around. Either you that way or... Yeah, I'd probably pull you over. So, we'll bounce you into you. Then we'll move you. Probably pull. And you might be able to kill you. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then... Judoka, why don't you go ahead We'll move him over. Kill him. Gravity, you can pull on them. Oh, actually that killed that one. Um... Yeah, let's bring the artillery up. Luckily that's got shields, <clears throat> so it should be fine. Last turn, we got three on the board. This should be fine. As long as we're not stupid. So we can kill that with our artillery mech. I think we have to do that, essentially. Or actually, we could probably grab him out of the way. But I think we want a gravity on you. We could flip you. I think that's probably the best bet. Um, is that gonna actually know that damage is buildings? Uh, we need to get buildings immune then. This is still a good option though, so that. Yeah, we'll take care of him. Gravity for the other one, the other spider thing. And then we'll use the Judo one. Another one. Yeah. There we go. Oh, don't worry, Henry. You'll have plenty. Although you've got full experience, though, so it's not like you really need it. Actually, you know what? So there's two options. We can either artillery this thing or we could kill him with Henry. I think it's a better move to use artillery though, because then we can get experience for our other two pilots. Let's do that. Yep, and then we get a little bit more experience for those guys. Perfect. I hope we'd get perfect on that. That was a pretty easy one. 
And we got a time pod. Pilot, give us a pilot. Oh no, just reactor core. Okay. Oh man, we need building immune, but we don't have enough for it. I'm gonna just give you a little bit more movement and then we'll get you buildings immune as whenever we can. Let's do the satellite launches. I like that one. Hopefully this time we can actually get the Vec to hit each other, because that's where this this uh, really shines. Okay, well I see one good spot for an artillery right there. Then we can flip them, probably. Um, yeah, I think we can kill all of these guys. But we could actually, uh, because we have this, they do plus one damage to each other. So we could actually move you over and you'll kill that one. There's an okay option. I think we're gonna do that though. I think we're gonna hit them with artillery, move them both over, but I think... We'll move the steel judoka somewhere, maybe move them there so that they get knocked into them, and, and then we could repair afterwards. Yeah, I think that's good. And then we'll just... We'll use the gravity mech to move them over. Do you hear that or we flip you over like that? Yeah, I think we want to flip them over so maybe we'll have the gravity mech get damaged over here and repair and then we'll flip you. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, no, that's gonna damage our satellite, isn't it? That'll damage the satellite, so maybe we don't wanna do that. Yeah, maybe we, we wanna move this one over. We could do that with the gravity mech. We could move you over and then push you into someone. you and then flip you. So we're gonna hit artillery to move you over. Gravity to do some damage on you and then... Actually no, if we move you there then steel judoka won't be able to flip them there. But we could just flip them there. Yeah, that should work. Okay, we'll push you over, then you'll kill them next turn. But it would be nice to just get a little bit more damage, so we're just gonna pull you over into you. And then we're gonna flip you, just to kill you. And then this, should, this one should die. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. thinking that looks like a pretty good spot for artillery. So it'll kill you and move you over. And we can just flip you over. And then we could use the gravity mech. Um, block a spawn point, I think? 
yeah. Let's do that. Okay, and then you'll die by fire next turn as well. Um, how much damage do you do? Only one, right? So this would survive. Yeah. And then I'll just do one, which is fine. And then we'll block this swamp hunt. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're gonna die next turn. And the satellite managed to launch. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? It'd be nice to see how much movement do you have. You got five, so if I don't one, two, three, four, five, you could get there and flip that onto there. So we could maybe pull this one over and then artillery you. be a good move. And we could grab you, you and... I think we could probably get you onto that spawn point between these two. Yeah, if we pull you up and then we get an artillery right there, that should work. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright, so... Yeah, you're going to take some fire damage, but this one's going to get hurt and block a spawn point. Then we'll use... Gravity mech and the artillery mech. Actually, I'll we'll move you up there. Gravity, pull, artillery, push. Both these guys should get hurt on the next turn. Oh, and we're on fire. Don't tell me that that person's gonna die then. Okay, they survived. But I think that basically means we need to repair with you next turn. We can't actually use you, because there's no water for us to walk you into. We could flip you... Um... And it'd be nice to kill one of these guys. I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, we could actually pull you up one and then you're going to do two damage to them. No, we can't pull them because we gotta heal you. Dang. Uh...
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him, so I'll just do what we can. I think I'm overthinking things. We just need to get you up out of here and, and healed up. The only thing that really matters is not losing that pilot at this point. And then we need to make it so that you don't do damage. to kill that one. Might as well hurt them a little bit. And then you can see that we can also destroy those mountains with that. Okay. That was alright. I think that's probably what we want to do next. Yeah, let's do that. The bummer is that we haven't got anyone that does two damage, so we're gonna have to... I think we're gonna have to use the artillery mech on that a few times. Or either that or get the vec to attack it. So... Yeah, we're gonna... I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the goal on this easily. And we've also gotta block them spawning. Yeah, this is gonna be a little tricky. Tell you what, we could judo mech you over. That's easy. And we can gravity mech. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of weird. It's saying that we could pull that. Um, we could also pull you over, and that would damage them, but then we don't want to gravity mech them. Or we could use you to damage that one. So if we bring you over, and gravity mech blocks a spawn, we'd kill a vec and block a spawn that way. As opposed to blocking a spawn there, I don't think we'd be able to kill a vec. Yeah, I think that we want to have the vec hurt each other. I was thinking maybe we could bring you over and then gravity mech you over. I think that's probably the best best option, and then we'll just use artillery to do some damage there. Yeah, let's do that.
Yeah, that's all we can really do for now. That's, that was a pretty good turn. Got one of these back. And we'll block the spawn. Okay, that scion needs to go. Um, what could we do here? <laughs> we could bring the scion down. That I kind of like the idea of. Bring the scion down, and then we could. I was thinking maybe we could flip you onto there, but that's not going to be a good idea. I think we also want to finish off that dam. You only do one damage, so you're going to do two damage, but I think that people are armored. But oh, you don't actually have the armor yourself? Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so I think... Actually, then that attack would kill you and you wouldn't block the spawn. Okay, that's good to know. I was thinking that we could maybe flip them over here. And then we can artillery. Right there, which would take out the dam and the scion. And then we could grab mech you over. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of vec on the board if we do that. And we really need to block them from spawning. So what's another option? If we move you over, we could pull them onto the spawn point, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. And we'd block another spawn. But then you're gonna get hit by them. But they won't hit the building. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think we can work with that. We'll flip you over. Take you with artillery. And take out the <laughs> Quan River. Sounds good to me, man. Um. bring you over and I'll have the added benefit of killing the other one so we actually aren't gonna take damage perfect it actually went really well okay but well, we could artillery you into the water I think yeah if we hit where the building is and you can flip them over. Gravity mech can sit on the spawn point, I think. Yeah. Um, actually, can you get there? Yeah, you can. You're totally fine. But we do want to block... Oh man, we want to block a spawn point. I think this is our last time that we can get a blocked spawn point. So we... I didn't need that. Oh, but we were gonna get the gravity mech to block one. All right. Alright, let's do it. This should work. I think we've got a reset as well if it doesn't. Yeah, it's a really weird um, how that artillery is just like. It plays so differently than the other artillery. I love how this game, the squads, just play so differently. It just makes this game really replay replayable. Get our objective one. There we go. 
I was worried for a second, I was like, wait, why didn't it not go? <laughs> really? You're gonna attack us like that? Okay. Um... I think we can grab mech them and then also artillery them to kill both of them. Yeah. That actually is a really good setup for us. Yep. And then you attack right there. Nice. It's always good when you just wipe the area completely of Vec. Yes. That was a good amount of experience too. Getting some good momentum. I'm liking this. We could try and do this. I really don't like the volatile Vec, but I think we gotta do it for the um for the possible corporate reputation. We've been doing so well so far. Um yeah, let's do that. And you are there. I think Judo Mech is actually pretty good against the Volatile because we can we can move him around nicely. Um We could get artillery to move you both or kill you and move you, but then we're gonna hurt you. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Is there any way that we can get you to attack someone else? That's probably our best move is to use the... Actually, no, it's gonna damage the building, huh? Yeah, we can't do that. And you can, I mean... I've done that a couple times. I've hit civilians once or twice. Henry doesn't like it when you do that. He says something like... Let's see. Maybe we could flip you. We could grab mech you. Artillery on you? No, that's not gonna work either because then you'd hit the side building. Hmm. First turn is a little tricky already. <sighs> well, if we just kill you using the artillery, we could hit the artillery there, which would kill you. And then we can use gravity mech to get you out of there. And judo mech to get you out of here as well. Yeah, I don't like it because it's not going to kill a lot of them. Do it though. We don't want to have this thing get out of control. And oh wait, no, dang it! I totally messed up already. Oh man! So that's gonna damage our grid. We don't want to use our reset turn just yet. We gotta protect, protect the objective. Okay, that was stupid of us. We're gonna lose some power here. Sorry, people.
things are starting to get a little bit out of hand here. <laughs> um, hmm. We could move you probably with the gravity mech. That looks like a good move, moving them with the gravity mech. Move you here, judo mech you onto there, which would kill you. And then artillery could hit you and kill you. Yeah. So gravity, judo, artillery, and then you'll hit the volatile. Dead. That's fine, it's just one damage on them. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, let's just double check one last time. Can you... Yeah, you'll be able to get there. One. Two. And... Three. Block that. Oh, dang. What am I thinking? It's like I actually kill him. Um. Yeah, I think that we want to do it though. It's not gonna kill this guy, but it'll damage them. We'll get hit, but I'd rather take some damage. Um, and do some damage, then do nothing. And this is oh, this is actually gonna do two damage to the volatile, so we don't want to get that volatile hit by other guys. Judo you onto that spawn point. It'd be nice to just outright kill you. You know, we could judo you over here, and then we'll use the. We could use the. Use the artillery, maybe. No, that's not going to work. You're going to kill that one on the next turn if we just move. I really want to get that volatile moved. We don't need to get it moved necessarily. We could probably just heal you up or actually use you. Let's see, we. Judo you over. Gravity mech you. No, that doesn't make sense, does it? It's a shame because the, the gravity mech is the only one that doesn't do damage to the volatile, and it's stuck by the volatile. <laughs> um, yeah. I was thinking I could judo mech you over 
Gravity Mechu. The Judo is not gonna actually do damage, is it? No, it doesn't do damage because of that darn Shell Scion. Uh, I think we're gonna have to hit you with the artillery, which is gonna then damage you, and we're gonna have to repair you. So artillery, repair, judo, maybe, drum, yeah we'll flip one of these guys, I think, actually no, because you'll kill that back. If we artillery you, and then we judo mech you over, because that will do one damage. Or actually, we could judo mech you while while you have the armor protection, but then the artillery would hit you. I think that we're gonna have to do this. We'll see. This might. I might need a reset after this. Okay. And then. You're gonna die next turn. So Henry, why don't you go block that spawn point and you just heal up? Heal up, block the spawn. Because if we block that spawn, you won't kill that one. Alright. Looks good to me. Have three back. Okay. That should be okay. Of course you are gonna do that. <laughs> I had a feeling. Um we can judo you out of the way, and then we'll grab mech you up. And then yeah, it doesn't really matter what we do with you. Let's do that. So judo Grav, the Volatile. Get away from our objective, man. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to kill this one. We can hurt it at least. So we did lose one grid power there and some civilians, but it's fine, we, we kept our objectives. It's an acceptable loss, as they say. Nice, one, one more mech move. Let's try this corporate HQ. Firefly leader. We really want to protect our um, corporate tower here. We also want to take out that firefly. From what I remember, the firefly does the two directional attacks, right? Yeah. Which can make them pretty nice for um, taking out their own. But we're not going to be able to do that. I think we're going to just need to uh, push them off to the side for now. And then gravity mechs, what can we do with you? Not an awful lot. You could actually pull you over and then you'd kill the other one.
Yeah, I think that it's a bummer. I'm not going to be able to do an awful lot with Henry right now. Because we'll kill that one using this spec, using the gravity mech. It's good. We'll kill one, we'll move this other one, and then we'll block a spawn point maybe? Because otherwise I don't see... I don't see any other good moves. do that. It's not a super amazing first move, but it'll work, I think. I got faith. I have three back on the board, one of them's the boss. It's okay. where we've got an opportunity. Maybe get this to attack that. We also want to stop it from, uh, from attacking. So maybe we push it into the water and then you attack it. Or we could pull it into the water and you attack it. Yeah, we pull you into the water with our gravity mech push you down with artillery. And then maybe we judo you up here. We're gonna have a lot of Vec on the board though if we do that. It might be a little bit too much for us to manage. We could just artillery you into the water right now, and you down. Do damage to both of you. What would be really nice is if we could get you to kill one of your own. is not great. This next turn is going to be chaos if we do what I'm thinking of doing. There's just going to be so many of them on the board. I think there'll be like six of them on there. Yeah, I, can't, I don't think we can, we can do that. That would just be way too many. We need to kill them. Like this turn, we need, to, we need to at least kill one of them. You know, we could push the leader down with the artillery. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we gotta do that. We absolutely have to do that. think that I would... Man. But then we're gonna have someone die, aren't we? Because we can't have them hit that tower. You know, we could just move you into the water. Move you down. Move you down? No. Uh, this is a tricky one. Unless I'm just being an idiot and not seeing something. We could artillery you into the water, which wouldn't be bad. We could do artillery of you in the water. Grab you into the water. And then judo. 
you over? I would at least kill one of the Vex. But I don't think we're gonna kill the Firefly leader if we do that. It's just a shame that we can't really get you to not hit a building. We could take some grid damage, and you know, I, I think we could do that. It would not be ideal, but we could have you hit that building. Maybe move you over. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's just move you over there with an artillery. We we'll use move you over with artillery, and you'll kill him next turn. could block the other spawn points. But then we just have crazy amounts of spawn points. So we'll take one grid damage if we do that. But we'll kill a vec. We do need to deal with you still. We could grab mech you down and then flip you over there. I think we have to do that. I think we're gonna have to take some good damage here. It's either that or face up to like six to back on the next turn. Which is not what I want to do. Do that. Grab you down. Actually, if we... Oh man, I think we just messed up because you're still gonna hit a building, huh? Yeah, I don't think we can afford to hit... Have you hit another building? Should have thought about that a little bit more. I can judo you over as you are. Let's do that then. I don't know why I didn't do that originally. I'll judo you into the water. Yeah, we'll kill both the Vec then that are around us. So you'll kill him. You take care of them. And Gravity Mech. Why don't you take care of We'll control the center of the board. Sorry, civilians. Your sacrifice will be remembered. See, that's what I'm looking for. This we can manage. This is easy. Because I can move both these Vex into the, their line of sight. Actually, better yet, I could move you over. Actually, no, that's not going to do much for us, because I... I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this, this guy right here. We could judo him onto there. 
That is, that is an option. I do one, two damage to him. We do need to take care of you. We could do artillery on you. So, judo, artillery, and then we could maybe pull someone into someone else. I'm not sure what to do with the gravity mech at that point. Maybe just keep them where they're at. Yeah, I think this is our only chance of killing this leader, which we need for our objective. So we'll flip you. Let me just think about this one more time, because we don't have our reset. We'll flip you over, we'll artillery you, maybe we'll grab you into Henry. Yeah. to kill this firefly. There's this still a hope for us. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna need to have one of the other Vex attack him. If we can get you over, then you'll kill the leader. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. We can actually we can judo you into the water, artillery you over, and just move you. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Yep, artillery them over, and then you're gonna kill them. Actually, we could grab them into the water and get you some experience. It's probably a good idea. Thank you. And then we'll just move you out of the way, Henry. And that should be good. We should kill the leader. That was a close one. Nice. I think we got a perfect island there. Yes. If we did. And we'll be set. Perfect island. Yes. But we're definitely Gang Herald. <laughs> it's a pretty good ability. But I think Herald's better. We're gonna replace you with Harold. So the grab mech will be able to push and pull. And repair. Oh yeah. Harold, welcome to the team. Uh what's that? Lips targets attack. That sounds pretty good. Or we could just up our reactor cores. That does sound like a really nice ability, though. Um, why don't we just get two of them for now and see what we can do with that? I wanted to get buildings immune. That will open up a lot of tactical options. You've already got two pretty cool abilities, pushing and pulling. 
You've got Buildings Immune and your Cluster, which is a good skill. It'd be nice to be able to flip with, with Henry. Yeah, I think we want to get that flipping ability for Henry. Oh, it's a science class weapon, so it needs to be on a science ship. It'd be nice if we could get on this ship, but I don't think we're going to be able to. That's a, that's a really nice attack as well. You know, we could sell our old pilot and get that, but then we'd only have two other... go for another reactor core. I think getting the Vex to do more damage to each other is probably a good investment. And having higher move is probably a good investment. Get one more on you. And one more on you. Yeah, more move. And more damage. I think I'm gonna end the episode here though. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One. I'll see you next time.